happen is, if we want to find the derivative of this, we know that we can break this up into 2 over x squared, right? And um, a lot of time, what I would recommend doing is rewriting this with negative exponents. So I know here is my inside function, right? And I can say my outside function is going to 2 over x squared, right? So if I just want to find, let's just say d or dx of 2, 2 over x squared, which is really equal to d over dx of 2x to the negative second. Would everybody agree with me? Which is really just equal to negative 4x to the negative third. OK, so I, had to, I didn't want to just, just rush into that. I'm like, all right, I'm going to just do a little side work. You can do that on a side sheet of paper. But I know that's my f prime. Because this, the rest of this is rather simple. So if I'm going to find f prime of x, then I know I'm going to take this function, which is my f prime of x, negative 4, I'm going to plug in my g of x, which is 5x plus 1 raised to the negative third. And then I'm going to multiply it by the derivative of my inside function, which is just 5. This is correct. But typically, guys, on a multiple choice test, it's never going to be written like this. f prime of x is going to be negative 20, 5x plus 1 raised to the negative third. Okay. So I just want you guys to be careful with, again, using